What about, like Toronto. what about the fans? Fans, great. Are great. They are really, they're loud here. You guys are really loud here. You guys are really loud. It's kind of, to me, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, we have a lot of fans here because we're going to be playing the, the Sky Dome here for the second time. And biggest crowd. It's, it's a, it's a huge crowd. I can't believe that they're going to be almost 40,000 people in there tonight. I mean, our fans here have been very supportive all over Canada. This is where it started in, in North America, and we haven't forgotten that. Thank you. Oh, and Bill is really cool for letting us ask this question. <laughs> say that? He Did he make you say that? What I got to ask, though, you don't, what, <laughs> no, what, you're being funny now. What I got to ask is, you guys have been to Canada here a lot, yeah. and, you know, in Toronto, too. You've made friends while you've been here. Yeah. Whenever you come back, um, mm -hmm. do, you, do you keep in touch with people that you've made friends with here? And, like, do you come up here and hang out when you're not working? In, uh, just this afternoon, I, uh, I contacted a friend of mine. Um, he played for Ottawa University, actually, in Ottawa. Um, Nick and I played some basketball with them, the guys at the university, last time we were up here. And we just met him. He's working now, graduated school and, and working here in Toronto. So we just bumped into him this afternoon and played some basketball. So, yeah. Honorary Canadians touch. right up there. Thank you. And I hear Thank you guys you were much. golfing in Montreal yesterday, or one yeah, of you Yeah, and was. it was freezing. Trying to. Yeah. Which one of you was golfing? Golfing. That would be crazy, Brian. Yeah, you yeah. have to be kind of uh, nice about golfing no golf. to go out in uh, fog and cold yep. and... <laughs> Did you score well, at least? Uh, I played crappy until the last hole. Hey, well, you, you played a good show last night. We have Madison here. Hello. Hi. And, um, Hi. What's your question? What do you do when you have free time on the road? What do we do when we have free time on the road? Well, Brian plays golf in the ice-cold weather. <laughs> Did she, do you mean after... <laughs> We're tour or on tour? On tour. On tour. We just this play this golf, <laughs> play golf, uh, <laughs> play basketball, go to the movies, go shopping. This tour actually has been really cool for us because we've had like we've been able to have the luxury of playing like multiple nights in a couple of places and having the days off like ever in the west coast of uh, the states. We went cattle hurdling one day. <laughs> yeah, we went yeah. snow skiing. We went, yeah. Uh, yeah, I went snowboarding in Denver. Did I see football games? Separated my shoulder. Tie your hair. Yeah. We've gotten to go to, to professional games like basketball games and football, football games. games. It's, been, it's been great. This tour has been a really laid-back tour. We've gotten to do a lot of things in our free time. So. That's great. Thank yeah. you, Madison. AJ can't have too much free time because he'll get another tattoo or change his hair and come another. Or he'll get his foot running over. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Hello. I'm Sam for, from Stopa. Hello. And, and I'm Karen from Mississauga. And each of you guys have your own fashion sense. I was wondering who are your favorite designers? Mmm. Ah. I'll answer that first. I take that. Loom. Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. No, that's Howie's. Well, no. Keeps America I, I tend not to like, to like to wear too much designer stuff. I'm always wearing like sports stuff or jeans. I still, I still haven't gotten into that phase yet, which the other fellows are in. What do you like, AJ? Um, so anything from like Nike to Dolce & Gabbana or Versace or Armani, something like that. Just something that's comfortable, something that, or something that nobody else will wear, like a cowboy hat with leopard spots. Something that nobody will wear, you know, or just I like different stuff. Roots. Yeah, plug it, man. And, and Sears. And Sears. And Polaroid. Sears is very good. And Polaroid. And Polaroid, if we can wear it. I like to wear Polaroid. <laughs> good, but, good, uh, good cover, Kevin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's an infomercial. No. <laughs> um, I don't really look at the label. I like just whatever I like, whatever catches my eye. I don't really look at the label. So. What about cologne? Do you guys have a favorite cologne you like? Jupe. And I'm fresh out, man. That's a hint if he's trying to No, I just need to go here. Um, a fan actually got me some uh, D&G, <clears throat> and I started wearing it, and I've been wearing it now for about a year. So I like that. It's pretty cool. I like uh, cool water. Yep. 
You went after I don't wear cologne. Don't he like doesn't wear cologne. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's your scent, Nick? It's my Dial scent. Dial so. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Boo, 33. Just the raw me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't wear cologne either. I don't. I haven't for like two years. It's a natural scent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's natural effervescence. Oh, you know, yeah, we're natural. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, my name is Charmaine, and I'm from Winnipeg. And I have a question. My question is, um, do you feel any competition from any other bands like Sync or 98 Degrees? No, not really. I mean, we're we're very um, very fortunate that we were able to be like the first ones to come around and bring the style of music back to, you know, pop music. And um, it's, you know, we're very flattered to see these groups come after us. And we were, you know, very lucky that we were able to break the doors down and, you know, start a, a new path for this style of music to come back. And um, we feel that there's enough fans out there for everybody, to each his own. We wish them the best of luck. Thanks. We're just focusing on <laughs> yeah, us, and, Boys. And us and our music. And that's what we've been doing since we've been together, so. Mm -hmm. Bill, you up there. Right up in front again. Um, what's your name and where are you from? And this is more of a comment you were saying. My name is Sabrina Fortino and I'm from Niagara Falls. <clears throat> Hi. And I just want to say that um, it was my wish through the Children's Wish Foundation to meet you and this is the happiest day of my life. Aww. Thank you. Well, good. Thank you. That makes us feel good. That's the kind of stuff that we like to hear. <coughs> I just like to say the same thing. I've accompanied my sister here today, and she's had the privilege to meet you. And I'm, I'm thrilled. Oh, thank you. On behalf of her, like I just thank you guys. Like sitting here, you're very down to earth, and you've made her. I grew up. I'm a David Cassidy fan. Oh, there <laughs> I don't you want go. to show my age, but you've made her just complete, and she loves you, Nick. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. That means a lot to us. I mean, thank we're you. always. To see our music touch people's lives, you know, and to bring happiness to families, you know, in their homes. You know, unfortunately, we're not able to meet every single person out there that, you know, we'd like to, especially, you know, terminally ill kids. We try to get to meet as many as possible. And it just, you know, it's very gratifying to hear that you guys say that to us. It means a lot to us. I, a special thanks to AJ's mother because she made this really happen for her. So, Good. thanks. What is this angel's name again? Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Thanks for coming. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. And what's your name? Andrea Marks. I'm from Thornhill. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I just wanted to know that since it's Remembrance Day today, are, do you plan on dedicating anything to the veterans of the wars? <coughs> yeah, it's Memorial Day. Yep. <coughs> um, wow. Hmm. I mean... I was watching a special, like we got here at what, what time did we get here, 6 a.m., 5.45 this morning? Yeah. And when I went up to my room, I was flipping the channels and I was watching a, uh, a documentary on the history of how Canada lended their support during the war and everything. And, and everybody was wearing the, what is it, a pop? poppy? Poppy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and I was like, well, and they were saying, well, what do you guys call it here again? Remembrance, Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day, and we call it Memorial Day. So they were saying it was Mem Remembrance Day, 11, 11, 11th hour, 11th day. So I was like, I didn't even know it was officially Memorial Day until you just told us, but it is Memorial Day in the U.S. as well. I don't know. We should do something. I think we'll probably say something up on stage. Say something tonight on stage. Who knows? I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a question? Yeah, I'm Haley from Thornhill. Um, hi. I just, want, I just, I just wanted to say at first that I love your hats, both of you, AJ and Nick. Thank uh, you. Um, I just threw it on. <laughs> Wasn't even worried about it. And also, who in history, each of you, um, or that you've met, inspires you the most? Who in history? Wow. You mean history in, class or people no, that you've like, met? In general, like, Well, in person? general, like, in history, like... Like a person or who in history? you met, who whoever inspires met. you. I have to say, I mean, I never was inspired when I was younger, but now that I've met him, he's left a really good taste in my mouth. He's right down to earth. I have to say, Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith, just because he's just. It's really cool to sit down and talk to him as if 
you're at one artist to an artist, but then when he's around, like my mom or any of our families, it's a parent to a parent. So he's very real and he's very much like everybody else. He's very much like us and he has kids of his own. Owns. Owns. Thank you. He has kids of his own that are, you know, fans of us and I'm definitely a fan of his daughter. So, but uh, he's just a, he's just a really very cool guy. I would love to stay, you know, friends with him for a, a while. He probably inspired you for the leopard print. Yeah. Um, um, I don't, gee, I don't know. I mean, I've, I grew up admiring and looking up to my parents and, and things that they raised me up to believe. My mom, I really admire her a lot. She's a very strong woman. Um, since we lost my father, um, she's been a very strong, very incredible woman. So, my mom, probably. Thanks, guys. Say something like that. I got one thing to say. There's there's a couple people who have inspired me in my life, and it's these four guys. These four other guys, they've, you know, it's because Ronnie Point Snake saying. will give you later. No, I'm serious. Thanks, bro. Y'all yeah, inspire me to be. Thanks, the little bro. Yeah. They're like my big brothers. I've never really had big brothers, so it's inspirational. Yeah. We uh, raised him. We you raised him. <laughs> Pack of wool. Raised him on the road. Since I was 13. Out of a hotel. <laughs> so. Thanks, bro. I think that kind of leads into Raquel's question, who is right down here in front. Uh, Raquel, go ahead. Hi, Raquel. Hello. Um, do you act like brothers? Yeah, we fight yeah, like we brothers. Fight like it, we talk like it. And we have fun like brothers. We have fun like brothers. We, we are. We're pretty much brothers. Brothers. We yeah. shared some of our best years of our lives the last, you know, eight yeah. years almost. You know, seeing Nick from the age of 12. To maybe in the age of 19 to where we are now, seven years later, it's been, you know, some of our best years. We've had a chance to grow up and see a lot of things, travel the world and see it all together. It's like family. <laughs> Done some crazy stuff together. Yeah. You wouldn't believe yep. it. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. No, you don't want to know. <laughs> all right. Thank yes. you, Raquel. Thank We're you. up to our uh, couple last questions. What's your name? Um, my name is Melanie Carswell, and I'm from Calgary, and I want to say hi to all my friends back home. <laughs> and I was wondering how much of a challenge it was to learn um, some of your songs in different languages, and if you were planning to do it over again. Well, I've always, since day one, me being of Latin descent, I've always kind of like talked with the group and our record company about translating a couple of our songs in Spanish. And...